Hello everybody! I thought I'd go ahead and film a haul video that I have of some thrift shopping I did this evening as well as some online orders that I got in today. So I got these, uh, there's actually a pair of each. Um, these are earrings. Um, two fifty for two p one. Oh, sorry, I think this was two fifty. This was two fifty, and then or two twenty five, and then this was a dollar. So these are earrings, and there was there's two of each of these. Um, and I'm just gonna cut the back off and use them for flower centers. So those are from the thrift shop I went to today. Um, I also got some more milk glass. I got this bowl, and the bowl is um, 59 cents at the thrift store. It is full of these vintage bottle caps, and I'll show you the bottle, because I got some spice jars. Uh, these are vintage spice jars, and I have two kinds. This is the first one, and that's what these lids are for. And what you're seeing are the strainers that go down in here. I'm going to use these jars to hold embellishments. And um, so, yeah, I have a set of 10 of these jars. And uh, you can notice that these are smooth. There were no labels on these, and I found a place where I can actually reproduce the labels, so that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to, in the label, put the actual embellishment name here. And I'll show you what it actually looks like because I got a set of the other jars in today that I've ordered. And let me turn you around. Oh, maybe not. Um, here is the other type of spice jar that I got. You'll notice that this is larger, and it's got an Art Deco sort of feel to it. And this does have the original label on here. Um, you'll notice it says, um, I don't know if you can read that, it says purified, and this spice was for roast meat seasoning, and it says Griffiths on this label. And on the back is an explanation of what the seasoning is. So I got a set of these today um, in the mail that I um, ordered and there was eight total of these larger jars and there was ten of these smaller jars from two different places. And I found a online shop that had these labels here that you can reproduce for this size jar. So that's what I'm going to do and instead of saying roast meat seasoning, I'm going to actually put the name of the embellishment in there. I thought that would be fun to kind of reproduce this vintage label. So, and the other thing is, you can tell that these these bottle caps are kind of in bad shape, but the reason I got these was because the color blue is actually a blue color that I have in my craft room. The curtains are actually this color, or there's a stripe of that color in it. So I thought that would go well. Um, they do come in other colors, but I like the blue. And here's a quick shot of all eight of those larger jars inside of the spice rack. Um, I have another set, I think it's 16 piece of these taller blue jars that are coming. And, um, you know, I have many embellishments, so I'll be using those for them for, you know, buttons and such. And I actually have to clean those out because some of them, or all of them, still have spices in them. And I don't know if they're the original spices because Griffiths made those in the 19, 1930s or 1950s. Somewhere before the 1950s, I believe. I believe this may be a newer jar. I'm not sure. But they did make different, um, different types. It's milk glass. So I thought these were really pretty. And luckily enough, these smooth ones came clean, <laughs> so I don't have to clean these out. Um, it'll be a challenge to figure out how to clean those others without ruining the labels. So anyway, I also got this little um, frame. It was $3 at the thrift store, and you can see it's got cherubs on it, so I'm probably going to um, you know, use this for a project. And of course, the, the glass is still intact here. It doesn't look like it was ever used. I don't know. Anyway... Um, and then I got a, another, um, milk glass vase. This is so pretty. I can't even tell you. It's got, um, like the marsh grass growing up it, and then around it, it's got swans. So it's quite an unusual piece. Um, and I love it. 
I really do. And I'll probably just put some sprays of things that I use in here or some taller items or embellishments. Um, I've got a plan and I'll show you all. I'll show you all what my um, candy station looks like once it's all set up. I'm just kind of waiting for all the pieces to come in that I've ordered. So the other thing I got today was um, my order from the paper bag lady. I ordered some lace and doilies and I'll show you what I got. This is some white crocheted trim. I got five yards of that and her prices are excellent and she did include some free goodies for me which I was you know I'm very thankful for so thank you very much for that if you're watching my video um, this is some yellow lace that she included for free it's very wide it's beautiful it looks cream on the camera but I think it's yellow it's like a really pale yellow so I got that I got this set of doilies. I got two bags of this actually, and I'll show you very quickly what each one looks like. So I got I got 12 of these, I believe. I got some little ones. This is about the size of a quarter, and you can see clearly what that is. Got 24 of those. Uh, those are the same. I got 12 of these and you can see the pattern here. So this is probably inch and a half across maybe, two inches. I don't think it's two inches of those. Uh, she included these and I don't believe that I ordered these so um, she included these for free which you know it's very nice to get anything like that much less you know something that's so great. This is like a pink and cream color. She included a couple of those. Um, these are so soft. These are like a light yellow or cream. I, I don't know. It's it's very light in color. I don't think this is cream though. These are more square. Then I got some of these. So pretty. And then there were some of these. And then lastly there are these. And, um, you know, what's great about this is that I don't actually have any doilies other than the three that I bought this weekend at the antique show. So this really is, you know, a nice treat to have some extras and uh, things that I can use on projects. Okay, a couple more doilies. Um, this is a salmon and cream color. And these are really pretty. I love the color on these. Then I got some blue and cream. Show you those. Here's those. You just have, kind of have to stretch them out a little bit. There we go. So pretty. So that's like a light blue color. Um, got this lace. And um, I still have them in the bags. I have a new way I'm going to be storing them, but I'm still waiting on that to get in. So hopefully that will come soon. So this lace, very wide. This is probably about two and a half inches wide. And it's scalloped. So there's that. I got this. Very delicate. It's also white. Okay. And I got these doilies. I got two packages of these. This is like a cream color. And I think these are like six inches wide. So those are really pretty. Those are crocheted. <clears throat> And let's see, I think I showed that. I, I got this as well, I think, because they're all in bags. So just want to make sure I don't miss anything. That's about an inch with a scalloped edge, also in white. 
And I think that might be all. Oh, there might be one more in here that's tucked away. This is the bowl that I'm keeping my, um, the one that you see me digging through, kind of. Oh, here it is. There is one more. This one I did not purchase. She included this for free, I believe, because um, I don't remember ordering this, but if I did, oh well. It's really pretty. It's like a nude color. Very delicate looking. So that is my haul for today. I've been trying to stay out of Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Joann's and all the rest because I've got a lot of um, that kind of stuff now. And, um, you know, I'm kind of just wanting to do projects and not so many hauls as much. <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the collecting of the milk glass. So hopefully that will um, inspire me to create more stuff. So anyway, I hope everybody's having a good evening. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.